Right now, our public pension system statewide is underfunded by about $50 billion. That's a B, not, not an M, $50 billion, and that's about $10,000 per man, woman, and child in the state. So if you want to think about what your share is, um, owing to our pension obligations in the state, just count the number of folks in your family and multiply by 10,000, and you have a handle on how bad the problem is. So. Um, that's a, it's a sad, unfortunate circumstance. It's a testimony to how, um, maybe how dysfunctional public policy and politicians can be to run up a credit card debt like that. Especially, it's going to be um, basically financed on the backs of folks like you, who um, uh, don't have the luxury of that kind of pension to be paid to you. You're involved not only in, um, in reinvesting in your business, but saving for yourselves and your family. So uh, that's what I'm working on. Uh, happy to answer any questions later. And uh, thank you so much, Tony. And thank you, Gary, for coming in from Nashville. And i uh, looking forward to visiting with you all soon and more today. Thank you. Uh, I've been a member of NFIB for at least 25 years. I have an S Corp, a C Corp, an LLC. My son and I, as a hobby, run a Dasbog coffee shop down in Castle Rock. I've um, been a real estate developer on, in retail, been a retail broker. I've worked with a lot of small businesses um, and watching them pay rent and pay taxes and watching triple net costs go up and up and up. I don't ever give the government more money. So don't vote for a tax increase. Just, just tell your politicians, you've got the money. You allocate it to where we need, and we're going to keep squeaking until you solve that problem. So I wanted to get, have you have very clear in your mind when you feel like, ah, oh, shoot, I'll just give a little bit more so I can go. We need $250 million a year to fund $3.5 billion. But with this SOT tax, they'll get $500 million a year because that's kind of that. Um, we'll, we'll get a lot, we'll spend the other on what we want, and we'll give you some tidbits at the end. So anyway, I wanted to give that clear in your mind. Politicians, all of a sudden when you're elected and you say this, you all of a sudden know more than anybody else about what needs to be done. Absolutely, you're the smartest person in the room. And you listen, but are you listening or are you more concerned about the power that that badge gave you? That's what concerns me, is too many of our government officials are too caught up in what this means. They forget where they come from, they forget whose lives they're impacting, and they forget that we're not here to take care of us. We're here to take care of you. And that's what we have to remember. So never, never, never feel like you can't talk to your Get them in an office, close the door, and tell them what it's all about. That's what we're here for. And that's what I'm enjoying about this job, is listening to what you need, what we need to do for you, and what we need to stop doing to you. I know that there are a few of us here who know the walk that you walk. We fight the fights that need to be fought on your behalf. I'm glad to be one of those members. Thanks for being here. Hope you have a great day. Um, reach out to us through Tony if you've ever got questions, needs, concerns. He does a great job of letting us know what you folks are caring about. I know because I vote the ballots that you vote as well. So, Paul Undine, glad to spend some time with you folks. Thanks for being here today. I would, if anything, love to encourage all of you to think about running for office because I see a lot of leaders here and I think I'm that poster child. If I can do it, you can do it too. So honestly, just please don't hesitate to pick up the phone, text, cell phone, smoke signals, whatever it takes. Let us know your feedback for uh, who is your representative, and I know they appreciate it. So thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it.